today we're going to take another measurement on our dry pour concrete versus wet pour concrete. At 21 days, a concrete should have reached 90 to 95 percent uh, strength already. The concrete that I used here is a 4,500 psi concrete. So if that is true, then we should be looking at around 4,200 psi number at this point. So again, that is the wet pour concrete. So basically, we prepare that using the traditional method of mixing the concrete and putting it into the form. This one here is the dry pour concrete. And we use the dry pour concrete method that's popular on the internet. That is mist, mist, and then water it eight times every hour. If you notice, the color is different, and that is because we did have some rain the last two days. We started getting rain, I think around Tuesday night, and then Wednesday all day up to this morning. And you can see right now, it looks like the dry pour concrete is still absorbing some water, so I'm not sure if that's good or bad. So you can see right now, this is the wet pour concrete. It's been rained on also uh, the last two nights, and you can see right now, it's basically dry already after it got some uh, sunlight today. But if you look here, this is the dry pour concrete. And even after it got the same amount of sunlight today, it looks like it's still uh, drying. So hopefully the moist on the surface will not affect the testing that we're going to do today. But anyway, we're going to do the test today and then we're going to do another test again next week. And hopefully by that time, we get their final result we're not looking at any type of rain for next week so we should be good uh let's go ahead and start our test if you have not seen my previous video we are actually using this rebound hammer to measure the compressive strength of the concrete so this is a uh, use to measure the compressive strength of structures that are already in place so if you have like bridge or uh roads this is the instrument that they use okay so we're gonna do this again and we're gonna go ahead and start with that uh wet pour test number one what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna test one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this ten blocks right here we're going to test okay so i'm gonna start right here i got a 26 We got a 29 right here. Okay, so this is the number that we got. So for day 21, test number one, we got a 26, 29, 30, 28, 28, 28, 31, 32, 32, and a 29. So if you add all this, it's 293. And if you get the average, basically we have 10 tests. So divide by 10 we got a 29.3 and we multiply that by 145 because each megapascal or uh, newton meter per square milliliter is equal to 145 psi so 29.3 times 145 psi now we get 4248.5 psi so on day seven for the wet pour concrete, we got 2914.5. On day 14, we got 4045. And on day 21, we got 4248. So we're gonna do another test next week. And hopefully, our regular mixed concrete will reach up to 4500 psi because that is the rating for that concrete. So if I mix it correctly, I will reach that if but at this point it should be it looks like we are going to make it okay so day 28 next week we're going to see that again so now let us go ahead and measure this dry pour concrete test number one dry pour concrete okay so this is the numbers that i got hopefully you can see that i cannot see my screen because it's uh, bright outside uh, day 21, that's one, I got a 16, a 16, a 16, a 20, 18, 17, 19, 20, 20, 19, for a total of 100 and 
181. So 181 divided by 10 to get the average. We got 18.1 and basically we multiply that by 145 because each number is equivalent to 145 PSI. So now we got 2642.5. So for the dry pour concrete, on day 7, we got 1,841. Day 14, we got 2,595. And day 21, we got 2,642.5. So, it's not bad uh, for a dry pour concrete. It's almost 3,000 PSI. I'm hoping it will reach... 3,000 PSI at day 28 because if I remember correctly, when I asked for a quote for a parking spot or for a driveway, I was quoted with a 3,000 PSI concrete. So um, I believe if this thing can reach 3,000 PSI, that means that it's good enough for a driveway or a parking spot. But right now, we're still on 2,624. It's 400 PSI short from the standard quote that I got. But you know, this is also promising because at least now we can see that the dry pool concrete at least have a little more than half of the strength of the wet pour. So what we'll do is we'll wait another week and then we'll do another measurement and see how they stack up against each other after 28 days or after 30 days. Maybe I'll just give it 30 days so that we got the full month. So if you found this video helpful to you, I just ask that you help me out by clicking the like button and comment below. And also if you want to see the rest of this series, make sure to click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell icon so that you can get notified once I upload the next video. And again, thank you for watching.